I've been scrolling through Twitter. Yeah, I know, it's a brave activity nowadays. Never know what you're gonna come across. And I keep seeing a ton of people tweeting about how Nintendo has completely ditched New Horizons and how the game could have been incredible if they just kept up with it. But did Nintendo actually ditch New Horizons? They didn't really ditch it as much as they just finished the game. We're in a time where games are never finished. They're always being updated, live serviced, getting DLCs, new seasons, various battle passes. This is becoming the norm. In large part thanks to the success of games like WoW, Fortnite, and PUBG. These titles have been consistently updated for years, and they make a ton of money. Because of this monetary success, many companies have since adopted a similar strategy to get people playing, which means there are multiple teams of developers out there concentrating on updating the same game forever. Before we get into how Nintendo didn't ditch New Horizons, I want to take a minute to thank today's sponsor, Factor. Make meals stress-free with Factor. You get ready to eat fresh, never-frozen meals delivered right to your door. Every meal is chef-crafted and ready to eat in just two minutes. Dinner that quick is a blessing. That's almost as fast as traveling to one island when villager hunting. You can make dinner while searching for that impossible to find dreamy. That's the true dream, food and villager hunting. What more could you want? Every week, Factor offers 35 different meal options, including options like calorie smart, keto, protein plus, vegan, and vegetarian meals. So there's something for everyone. There are also over 60 add-ons every week, like breakfast, quick lunches, snacks, and beverages to keep you fueled all day long. I will always recommend the smoothies. They are phenomenal. I cannot get enough of them. And um, no, I am not sick of saying it every time I do this ad. <laughs> Factor also has gourmet meals if you're looking to treat yourself. There are options that have premium ingredients like filet, shrimp, truffle butter, and asparagus. You're gonna be eating like a king. Sign up for Factor today. Get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders using my link. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. Now that we're fueled up, it's time to get back to why Nintendo is being a bunch of jerks. Well, it feels like Nintendo ditched New Horizons. They really didn't. Could another company spend years updating and improving the game? Oh, 100%. That's why we have games like Palea that are live serviced with frequent updates, adding new features, improving what we already have. Or Stardew Valley, where we keep getting free updates for a game that we paid $15 for seven years ago. There are games that do do that, but Nintendo isn't one of those companies that really makes games that do that. Miyamoto did an interview a few years ago stating that he would never want to work on any MMORPG because he can't stand working on the same game for an extended period of time. Granted, Miyamoto doesn't control every development team in Nintendo, but it's safe to say he has a lot of influence and is pretty high in the Nintendo rankings of executives. His expertise is most likely requested frequently. The only example we have of a game continuously getting updates from Nintendo is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Obviously, ignoring the mobile games, those are a different kind of cash grab and day cash grab, they need updates. But I want to concentrate on console games since New Horizons falls into that category. Now, the difference with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and New Horizons, all of the updates for Mario Kart were DLC. You paid extra for them. Other than balancing patches and bug fixes, none of the updates were free. Mario Kart 8 was one of those games that came out during the sad, sad era of the Wii U. Many of these Wii U games got complete ports or re-releases on the Switch to give them a second life. Or really a first life since the Wii U never stood a chance. So we have one example of a game getting DLC updates which literally doubled the amount of content in the game. But this seems to be the exception to the rule. But again, who knows? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the best selling game on the Switch. Besides the fact that it's Mario Kart and those games usually sell pretty well, maybe this is a sign that Nintendo needs to stick with the game in the long run. I doubt they do that with every game in their catalog, but it works for some, especially for online games. So back to New Horizons. When the game first released, we were promised a couple years of updates. And that's pretty much what we got. Nintendo started out by slowly releasing content that we definitely had in the past and probably should have been included immediately and not time locked, but I do understand why they did it. And honestly, I think it was a great way to get new people into Animal Crossing. Instead of being completely overwhelmed by a dozen types of fruits, gems, gyroids, bushes, furniture, events, we were drip fed at all. Very newbie friendly, and with over 40 million copies sold compared to New Leaf's 13 million, newbie friendly was a great idea. 
But I do get the frustration that some people had with the way that the updates were released. Everything, especially the events, were time-gated. You couldn't time travel to experience the holidays early, you had to sit and wait for real life time to pass, which sucked because we were all stuck inside for two years straight. Whoops. Not the best way to update a game, but it kind of makes sense for a life sim like Animal Crossing. Again, if we weren't on lockdown forever, I don't think these updates would have been that big of an issue. Come home from work or school, you play for a couple hours, you put the game down. Instead, we didn't put the game down for months. With that being said, they pretty much did everything they wanted to do in the way of new content, eventually. We got the returning mechanics like bushes, art, leaf, booster, gyroids, you know the drill. But then they also added a bunch of new stuff that definitely took a little bit to appear in the game, like farming, cooking, cat and islands, all the fun stuff that came with the 2.0 update in late 2021. For the most part, everything that was data mined at the beginning of the game's release showed up in some way, no matter how COVID tried to derail Nintendo's plans. Could New Horizons improve with future updates? Of course. There's a lot that could be added to a life sim game. Almost too much. There's nothing really stopping these life sim farm sim games from creating new content until the end of time, except the developer's own free will and perseverance. One easy thing to do, just add back all the extras that New Leaf had that we didn't get in New Horizons. Like the gems, the extra fruit, the mini games, I've gone over this before, you all know what I'm talking about. But should they keep updating forever? Or at least for the life of the Switch? As much as I would love to see New Horizons continue to thrive, I don't think Nintendo should keep adding items to the game. It needs to stop at some point, mostly so we have a brand new Animal Crossing game on a new console. I'm okay with the devs ditching New Horizons because that just means they're working on the next installment. They don't just stop working on Animal Crossing and go do something else, like make Splatoon 4, right Nintendo? You make another Animal Crossing before another Splatoon game? I would much rather have the next installment in the series, rather than a game that is about to be out of date in the next year or so when the Switch 2 finally releases. My ideal update schedule? Come out with New Horizons at the beginning of the console's life and update it close to the introduction of the new console. Though I guess that wouldn't give them any time to begin working on the new game, but whatever, that's just my irrational wish. So, did Nintendo ultimately ditch New Horizons? <sighs> I mean, kind of, I guess. But you could say that about any game that doesn't get constant frequent updates. Are developers ditching games, or are they just finishing them? Nintendo gave us what they promised. They completed everything they wanted to. To me, that's not ditching the game. The devs made it what they want it to be and just let it run free. Do you think Nintendo ditched New Horizons? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye!